Hello, my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you today? We are here with a love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's take a look and see what the energies are. Your energy, Aquarius, is the aid of Earth. You just want to work things out. You want to be very practical. You want to be very grounded. You want to be smart. Your person is desirous of your practicality. They see you as the queen of pentacles. They want you to solve the problems. The, your energy around this person is a five of water. They have disappointed you terribly. You feel as though they have just done something that was extremely unkind, that they have done something that really has probably destroyed the trust in the relationship, at least at this point in time. Their energy is they want the easy way out. They want you to solve their problems. You're the queen of coins. You are the um, Capricorn queen, the problem solver, the successful career woman. So that is the energy. That's devil energy. The temptation card is really devil energy. So let's see how both of you are going to feel in this next week. Let's see what your energy is. The messenger of fire. You're glad to talk. You're glad to talk about something, but you want to be grounded and down to earth. Let's see what... Let's see. You are going to stand in your power, the Empress card. That is your energy for the week. You just are not, you're willing to communicate, but you're not willing to let anybody any longer. You're not allowed, this person is not allowed to uh, take you down a notch. And this is something that they like to do, that temptation card. They like to communicate in a way that's not so kind. The seven of air is their energy. Ooh. You have now left them in the dark. Now they're wondering what you're up to. And they still want your help and your assistance because you are the beautiful empress. And they see you as that and the Three of Fire says that they feel somehow you're going to give them something. They feel as though their ships have come in, that there's something about you that's just going to give in to them as if, oh, you know, Aquarius loves me so much that at the end of the day, they'll come through for me because they always have. Well, Aquarius, let's see what your response to that is. Yep, the Eight of Air. <laughs> I can't make this up. The Eight of Air. Oh, you are self-imposed restriction. You are on lockdown mode. You are not going to talk to this person. The Two of Air, you are ignoring them, and that is your energy. How are they going to feel about this in the coming week when they discover the Death Card transformation? You're not having it. That whatever they had up their sleeve, whatever they thought was going to work, is not going to work. Shh. Guys. Sorry about that. Puppies. Okay. Eight of fire. Oh, this person really thought you were going to come through. They are stunned. They are stunned at your strength. Eight of fire is like you throwing javelins of fire at them going, nope. Not doing it, but see, you're doing it. You're doing it in by not doing anything. You're actually firing them up. However, they understand that you, with that death card, you are, it's the end of you taking action to help them. That's what this means. And they really get it. They know that in the past, they have always depended on you with that devil energy to solve the problems, to always be the one who made everything right, to forgive them. Going forward, what do we have for our Aquarius friends? For you, we have the three of water. You're going to just have fun. You are looking forward to having fun. You have good friends. You have good energy around love. Let me get that card. But the Four of Earth, you are holding back. You are just not giving them anything. The Four of Earth says that you're doing your own thing. You're having the, you're living the good life. Let's see where they're at in this, pro <laughs> this process. Be right back. 
All right. The messenger of water. Ooh, they're getting emotional. They're going to try to appeal to your emotions. Somehow, some way, they think they can get to you. The ace of air. <laughs> It's like being ready to, this person has no ability. They have not been honest with you. The ace of air means it's like a wiffle ball. It's like striking out during the, uh, you know, the World Series, the ace of air. You know, it's a wiffle ball. It's not happening. The ace of air is you're using your intellect, you're using your intelligence, you're using uh, your ability to withhold yourself from them. And with clarity, they are beginning to understand that that is what you're doing. How do they feel about that? How do they feel about the fact that you are just not bothering with them? You've had it. The two of water. Well, they still love you. You know, they still want to be with you. And I think almost that this person has a tendency to be toxic because when they feel disappointed, they tend to love you more. I can't believe I'm doing this. That is a lot of cards flying out of this deck. Okay. So the two of earth, so they're juggling. They're juggling something. The two of water says that perhaps one of the issues in your relationship is that they have almost always juggled and never given you their all. This person has never treated you like the empress that you are. And they've treated you like a little kid who's passionate. And they have not been honest with you. Okay. And they always see you as a person who gives anyway. So codependence is about to be broken, my friend Aquarius. Going forward, what is going to happen in the near future for you, Aquarius, in this relationship? Five of fire. You're going to stand your ground. You're not going to let anybody take advantage of you. The energy that you have around that is for a fire. Gives you stability. You are going for your stability. I like it. For a fire is a, possibly a new marriage or a new relationship that's stable. Because you have the three of water, you have plenty of opportunities coming up. I would say within the next three to four months, you will be in a beautiful new relationship. And let's see what their energy is because you are withholding. They see you as a loving queen. <laughs> they have more respect for you. It's almost like when you really stand in your power, you know, they fall in love with you more. The three of air, they're broken hearted. They did it to themselves. Three of air, they've let other people interfere in your relationship and you are no longer having it. And it doesn't matter how you feel. You are, you know, you care about them very deeply, but they will never have that part of you again that, you, that they once had. That sweet, innocent person that you were who gave their all. You are not going to be a part of that. The call, judgment, you're releasing them. You are releasing them. There is ten of air. You're letting go of the burden. They have backstabbed you. They have betrayed you. This person and you, the judgment, the call, this is like the judgment card. So if you were married to this person, this would be like the judgment of divorce, a final divorce degree. If this person is someone whom, to whom you were never married, you are ten of swords. They've killed it off for you. They have betrayed you in ways that you could not have imagined and you are not having it. How do they feel about their own actions? Let's see. How does this person feel about their actions? Let's see. The king of fire you might be dealing with, a Leo. They feel as though they've been normal. Oh, I just don't even know what to say about that. This person actually feels as though they've been normal with you. They feel, yep, the sun card. They feel they don't even know better. Okay, this person doesn't even know better. They don't understand that when you get the death card on the devil card, where's our peach? Let's see, here it is. Here it is, yeah. We have the death of the devil. You are killing off this energy because you're not allowing it to be used on you. This person still has this energy. So they'll go forth with bad karma, 
because they have this energy. What else could you expect? You can't hurt people like that. So let's see what else. How else are they going to respond to this? How else are they going to respond to you? Only doing what you have to. The messenger of air, they're going to try to reach you through email, through messages, through a third party. The moon card, you've totally lost them. They are frightened. This person is afraid. Aquarius, good job. That is Neptunian energy. You are they, you are not recognizable to this person anymore because you're not putting up with anything and they don't get it. <laughs> the remedial group, I'm sorry. You know, and I don't think there's anybody watching this that it, this is, I don't see this as a vice versa reading. The Nine of Earth says that they see you as powerful, single, ready to mingle. They see you as a person who's highly desirable. They, they want, oh, they're going to drive by your house. They want to come in. They want to make some sort of financial offer or some sort of grounded offer. Um, but given their history, let's see what your reaction will be, my friends. What will your reaction be? Page of Fire. Like, oh, no, no, it's really, that offer's a little too little. A little too little, a little too late. Let's see. Ten of Earth, yep, no, you are, I have to say that this is going to lead you into a new part of your life that brings in a new relationship that is built upon a stable foundation. Whatever this energy is, whoever this person is, has taught you something very invaluable and that lesson is essentially that when people behave badly and they do it repeatedly, that is who they are. You know, my Angelo, when somebody tells you who they are, listen to them and that's where the, that's what this Ten of Pentacles energy is for you. You are now, you have a doctoral degree in what, why this person doesn't qualify to be in your life as a legacy. The Justice card, there you are, Libra Energy. The Judgment card, the Justice card, that's like the filing of paperwork for a formal separation. And then the Judgment card is a divorce. The Death card is never again. The World card is you closing out a cycle. And here you are, no matter how they tried to bring your tower down, you stand strong. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. You are healing. I love it. Three of Earth, there you are. You are going forth. You have other people in your environment. You have a good support system. We're going to pull the oracles here for you. Aquarius. What does this mean for our Aquarius friends in terms of their life? What does this mean for Aquarius? What is the energy here for our Aquarius friends? Indecision. Well, that's, that's them. That's not you. That is not you. The Two of Swords. You were that way in the past because this is your past energy, but you're not now. So indecision. Let's see what else the Oracle cards are going to tell us about this relationship. You had indecision about this person. Man holding a coin means that this person also saw you as someone with whom they could feel financially secure. Adjacent possibilities. Oh, look at you. You're like, yep, I had my eye on that person, but not any longer. I'm drifting. My eyes are drifting to the side. Happy family, there you go. So what we're seeing here is that you are taking a different path. You were undecided, but now you're moving to the side. You're moving away from them. Judgment, justice, devil, death, transformation. And you're moving to somebody of your own caliber and quality. So that is your reading, Aquarius. Mwah. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care. Bye-bye.